So you want to avoid putting too much heat on your hair. And when you do apply heat, you definitely want to uh, use a heat protectant. Um, of course, without a heat protectant, you can damage your curl pattern, which for some people is not a big deal. Um, but, but for other people, and I know for myself, when I want to wear my hair out curly, you don't want some curly pieces, some straight pieces. It's like, no, you don't want that. You know, if you want to be able to wear your hair out curly and have a uniform kind of a pattern, then you definitely need to not skip your heat protectant, okay? Okay, so limit heat and also remember always use a heat protectant. Um, okay, number four, leave your hair alone. <laughs> leave your hair alone. Low manipulation is one of the best ways to allow your hair to grow and thrive. Um, if you are tugging and combing and brushing and detangling and flat ironing and braiding and doing everything every single day and never just allowing your hair to be, you are putting stress and tension on your hair. Um, normally, like say if I do a twist style or coil out on the weekend, that will last me the entire week, at least a week, okay, possibly more. And so during that time, that week or two weeks, I will not be combing my hair. I might, you know, touch up my edges or slick it back or do something, but I'm not gonna be going through with the comb or the brush and trying to comb this because this doesn't need to comb, this just needs to go. It needs to blow, flow, and go, okay? Um, so you don't need to be combing and doing so much manipulation every single day. Just leave it here alone and let it do what it do, okay? Um, number five, use good quality natural hair products. Now, I say this because there are, I guess, thousands of natural hair products all over the place, okay? Um, because, you know, the companies have realized that guess what, we can make natural, we can make money off these women of color who are buying up all these natural hair products every week, every other week, okay? So the market is flooded with all kinds of products and a lot of it is crap. <laughs> you know, so you have some really good products, but then a lot of it is stuff that you don't, you don't want in your hair. Um, yeah, so you want to look at, first of all, what are the ingredients? You know, if it has things like petroleum or petrolatum, you see ingredients like that, um, or things like a bunch of alcohol and things that are not good for your hair, you want to kind of avoid those, okay? Um, you want to try new products that are as natural as possible and that are using high quality ingredients. Um, so things like the core in hair products are things like water, aloe, coconut oil, things like that. Natural products that I know that are actually going to feed my hair and not just make it look pretty on the outside for a little bit, but that are actually going to, you know, be a hair food for my hair, okay? Um, that's number five. Number six is limit harsh coloring. Now, I have um, had the ends of my hair lightened before, um, like last year. So if you look at some of my old videos, my ends were lightened to a blonde color, and which I love blonde on me. I just decided to change it up a bit. Um, but my ends um, were actually lightened. And even now, um, I did put a darker color over it. I did put a darker color over my hair, um, over the ends, but you can see where it's kind of brown now. That's because the blonde here is kind of peeking through, okay? Because I did, I did put a dark brown over my hair. Okay, so I am speaking from experience with this whole lightning, and I used um, a bleach, hair bleach, and I think 20 or 30 volume developer, okay? I feel confident using them on myself. Um, but if you do not feel 100% confident with that stuff and you want to um, add highlights or whatever to your hair, please see a professional because you can fry your hair off. Even like permanent dyes, you don't want to be overdoing it with any of those like hair coloring stuff. Um, you just want to make sure and you baby up your hair so that it is in its best state. 
um, but definitely with the like with hair bleach, you don't want to play around with that. They limit uh, any harsh coloring, um, and if you're not sure what you're doing, please see a professional because you don't want to mess up your hair. Okay. Um, I think that's okay. Ooh, one more. The big number seven is have patience. Have patience. Have patience. Have patience. Don't be in such a hurry. Okay. Your hair will grow. Um, you just have to give it time. I know when, I'm gonna see if I can find a picture, but I remember when my, um, when I big chopped, because I, my last perm, my last relaxer was April 19th, 2014. So I count myself being natural, or my natural hair journey beginning April 20th, 2014. So when I say that I have been natural for two years and five months, I'm counting from April 20th, the day after my last relaxer. So that is when the hair on my head would have started growing out. April 20th, 2014, okay? Um, and so you just need patience. I remember one month after my last relaxer, I they chopped everything off. I had like this much hair. Okay, I don't think I had that much hair, but I wanted the perm off. And I just, I cut everything off. And so I had like a little boy cut. <laughs> okay. Um, and you know, look at me now. So it just takes time. Um, and enjoy every stage and phase because, you know, once you get past that, if you want to get back there, you have to cut your hair. I remember when I was at that one year mark, the, the length that my hair was at, um, when I hit the one year mark, that was like my favorite length because I could do a coil out and you know have it picked out, fluffed up at the top, and you know push the sides in and have this really cool like tapered look. Like I can't even do that anymore. I might have to like I, mean, I don't even know how I would do that now because my hair has grown out so much that that shape is totally gone. Um, and I really love that style. So enjoy every stage and. Um, it's just just enjoy the journey okay so guys I hope I hope this was helpful um, and stay tuned for the next video please share like and subscribe okay don't forget to hit that so that notification bell so that you will not miss a video okay I love you guys and I will see you in the next one bye do you love me